Hey guys, this is Hell Hades. This is a Raid Shadow Legends video. Guys, it's finally happened to me. One of the biggest outrages of the, the patch that just dropped has just landed in my lap on the free to play. And I figured I'd, I'd kind of talk about it. I want to talk about two things in this video, actually. I want to talk about this change to advanced quests. And I want to talk about the change in Arena. In fact, I'm going to start with Arena because this is something people just need to know. We've had these kind of like one man defenses, rocking the arena, helping people grow their great halls. It's been great. People are a higher rank than they should be, but they are farming up their great halls like this, going in there and, and getting their great halls done, which is always, has always been one of the hardest things to do in the game. And Raid have not really managed the arena um, PVE per versus PVP very well over the last couple of years. Um, and basically, it's meant that either people are getting like hard stuck in certain missions because you know, they've got arena based missions that they're not able to do, or they've been just getting hard stuck on trying to grow a great hall, which takes a lifetime to do. It took me on my main account as a, as a like pay to win a good couple of years to max a great hall out, free to play, 120 days in, pre being pretty damn active. And this is what I've got so far. So. What they've done, they've actually changed the amount of losses now. And they've, they've gradually increased this, by the way. It was 5, then they moved it to, to 10, then to 12, then to 15. Now they've moved it to 20 potential losses a day. Now, what does that mean? It means that anyone who's doing these one-man defenses can lose 20 times each day. You get 10 initial fights. You get a refill for 10. You get another refill for 5. So you actually get 25 hits a day before you even count like the, the refreshing type of stuff. So you do still outweigh the one man defense in terms of losses, but just be aware, gradually over time, they've allowed you to lose more, which means that the one man defense becomes, you know, way more risky, basically in terms of like free falling back down the arena. So it's just a watch out really. I still believe in the one man defense, but I feel like less and less people do. Unless we're all doing it, it's not going to work. So we either step up, and everyone start putting in those one-man defenses or we forget about it. Right, now back on to the kind of main reason I was going to make this video. And it is this quest here. Use one Hydra key. Get, get yourself 10 gems for doing this. You notice, right? This is, all, this is all about KPIs for Raid. This is all about KPIs. Look, you get more gems for this one. Than you do for any other advanced quest yeah just straight up they're giving you more it's almost like we know you're not gonna like this so we're trying to sweeten the deal and i'll tell you why they've done it in my opinion basically they released a clan boss they released a new big clan boss it was their big release at the end of 2021 and unfortunately the model isn't working well enough Okay, people are not forced to play it every day like normal clan boss. So it's not part of your daily routine. And Raid has got a lot of stuff in its daily routine. Yeah, you're kind of like, right, I've got to do my clan boss hits. Okay, I need to do my tag team arena five hits so that I can then do my faction war 18 hits. Uh, I need to do my doom tower keys. I need to make sure that I'm not overflowing on energy. So I've got to do some dungeon farming or campaign farming. Okay, I need to do my arena battles. Uh, and I'll tell you what's happened. Because it's not part of the daily routine, first thing, people leave it till like the last day or they forget to do it completely. We're on the last day in my clan now and 13 people have hit normal and six people have hit hard. And this is a pretty damn active clan that I'm in. If I compare that to, uh, well, let me just show you clan activity quickly. So, you know, we've got what? One, two... I don't know what happened to this dude. Three, four, five. Okay, we've got five or six inactives, but the rest of the clan are, are active. Yeah, and they're playing. So, so that's the first thing. The routine is not there. And it's actually, it's, it's genuinely like a, just a mistake in terms of the way Raid have built this boss. Not having the daily routine of doing it gets people out of the routine. Yeah, I used to be in sales. What do we want from our customers in sales? We want them to order by routine. If you get a new customer, you're on them to make sure that they get their routine going and they lose the routine with their old bar people they used to buy from. Yeah, that's what, 
That's what you're doing. You're changing someone's daily routine. Hydra doesn't fall in line with the rest of Raid. So actually, it's just being played less. People kind of like, oh, crap, I need to do it rather than, right, we're doing it in today's routine. That's the first thing. Second thing is they released it in a terrible state. Too much RNG, way too difficult for new players coming in, way too difficult for experienced players that understood the game, way too many mechanics to manage. Like there was this, just this kind of plethora of things. And you think about some really cool bosses in this game, normal clan boss, some of the Doom Tower bosses, the, the original four the, uh, dungeon bosses, they're all really cool, by the way. And they're all built in a really good way because you, you understand the mechanics, you understand the type of team you need to bring, you fine tune it over time, you get better champions to come in to do the jobs, and you improve. Yeah, it's got an early, uh, you know, easy base up to a hard finish. And I think the model went awry with Hydra. They were like, damn, people keep beating our stuff. Let's make this one insane. Now, make it insane by, you know, having like four heads that have got either high resistances or, you know, you need certain mechanics to beat it. All of that is fine. But having the two random extra heads that can come in, I still will say this, I still believe it. It's not right. Just give us the four heads and they, they maintain unless you're on the, high, the hardest difficulty. They've made Hydra now easier. And it's significantly easier. Yeah? I'm on my free to play and I can fight Hydra on the free to play. In fact, I need to do it, so I'm going to do it. Um, I can fight Hydra now on the free to play. It's still a challenge, by the way. It's, it's still a definite challenge, but it's now achievable to do. But probably what's happened here is they've realized that people are still not playing this game mode. And that's not acceptable to them in terms of their KPIs. Yeah, they absolutely need people to play this game mode consistently because it's their big thing. It's their big kind of big release. It's their big, big thing in the game. They can't afford to have people just not playing it. So it then gets to the point where you're like, you know, how do they get people back into it? Well, unfortunately, they're now forcing people into it. Yeah, and that's where we're at. We're now at a point where they are straight up forcing people to play it because they have to show to their investors, to the, the people that are kind of coming through that are interested in Raid, they have to show that this new game mode was a success. And right now, it's a colossal failure. That's basically where it's at. So that's why I think they've done it. Unfortunately, for us as a player, it's, it's now replaced, you know, Doom Tower extra keys as a quest line. And Doom Tower keys, you know, for a lot of us was just straight up extra items that, that we could um, forge. Yeah, and some of those items are proper end game stuff. So if you're talking about an end game player, like my main account, I, I miss out on, honestly, like really, really good items potentially from that farm. If you're talking about someone like my free to play here, I'm in two minds actually as to whether I prefer 10 gems or prefer doing the um doing the quest line, like doing doing the hydra, because I feel like 10, 10 gems is actually all right. <laughs> it's all, like, I don't mind it. I don't mind it. I'm I'm in two minds about it. But the the forcing you to do it and replacing the other one is just not right. It's just not right and it's it's causing quite a lot of uproar in the community and honestly it's coming just because they need more players to play this game mode they absolutely have to have more players playing it to you know just just to kind of solidify that it was a good game mode to add yeah that's that's where it's at so i mean i don't know how you guys feel about it is you know there's been a bit of uproar on it i I'm still on the fence, honestly. I'm still on the fence as to whether I'm sad about it or not. But I'm just trying to give you a sense of probably where they're coming from and why they've done it. <sighs> See a drop in there is it's really bad. And this is the problem, right? When you get a shit run like this one, sorry about the uh, profanity. You know, you've just got to regroup and go again. And it sucks. It sucks a lot. It just sucks a lot when you get terrible runs and you're, you're like, right, looks like I'm doing it all over again. You know, 
I can hit probably about 1.4 million with this team consistently. And, you know, I'm just not doing it this run, which is fine. Like, look, bad RNG, all that type of stuff. I get it in Doomtail sometimes as well. It happens. But on Hydra, you know, it just sucks even more, especially when you're a, a higher level account. You're not just hitting normal. You're hitting, you know, some of that high level stuff where it really takes a long time to do the runs. And then all of a sudden, you know, the, um, Head of Wrath just pops up and one-shots your entire team. And you're like, right, there goes 30 minutes of my day for, for really no legitimate reason. Um, anyway, I'm going to finish this run off. But yeah, I'm, I'm interested to know. Actually, we're, I'm not a million miles away from where I normally would be, so I'll take it. But look, I'm interested to know your thoughts on it. The extra Hydra key, is it something which you are really pissed off about? Or actually, is it just kind of like, uh, it's frustrating they do this type of thing, but it is what it is. Anyway, I've been Hell Hades, battling with Hydra. I'll see you later.